Hey guys, it's Mickey from It's a Southern Life, and today I just wanted to do a short video with you on orchid care. I love orchids. I have about three of them in my house, all bloom and white, and I just wanted to go over care and what to do with them when they stop blooming. Don't throw them away. All you have to do is just do a couple of steps and they'll rebloom next year for you. So let's get started. This poor orchid only had one flower left. It was looking pretty sad and I knew it was time to go ahead and, and trim it and do some work to it. So what I'm gonna do is I trim the flower off and then I'm just gonna untie these sticks and then I'm just gonna place them to the side. Now don't throw these away cause you'll need them for later. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make a cut. You're gonna find a node and that's where another stem will produce and it'll also have flowers on it again. So just look for it and make the cut right above it. And I'm just gonna make the cut right below this one. That one actually is the first node, but I'm going down to the other one because it looks bigger and it just looks healthier. So I'm just gonna make a cut right above there. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. Now this orchid is actually a two stem blooming orchid. But if you had one, of course you would only do it to the one side. And here is what it looks like when both are cut. See both of them have a fresh cut right above the nodes. And so hopefully that will produce a stem with flowers on it. and they still have the leaves and the crown looks good. So everything hopefully will reproduce and I will get more flowers. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put the sticks back in just for support and just tie them. And when you tie them, tie them very loosely. You don't want them to strangle that stem at all. Then what I like to do, since we did make a cut, I like to go ahead and fertilize. I fertilize about once every three weeks. I just take one scoop out of this and then I just put it in the water bottle and shake it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour about half of the amount that I made in there, making sure that I'm not getting it in the crown or in the leaves, cause that could actually cause root rot and we do not want that. So I'm gonna pour half of it in and it is strong cause it is a concentrated amount and I'll use the rest of this actually for the other orchids that I have in my house. So what you do after this is you just put this in a bright and indirect light spot in your home. And in about six months, you should have a reblooming orchid. Thank y'all so much for watching.